Let's face it, electrification in the automotive industry is in full swing. Japanese, European, and even American car manufacturers have electrified the majority of their lineups. But since our channel is called Big Metal Birds, you can probably guess what this video is all about. Before we dive in, I want to mention that the plane we're reviewing today is still in testing phase. So this is more of an overview of a proof of concept rather than our usual deep dive. That being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share them in the comments below. Welcome to Big Metal Birds, and in today's video, we take a look at a plane that aims to revolutionize utility aviation. The Electra Aero. To be precise, an aircraft propelled by an electric motor isn't exactly revolutionary. After all, the first crewed electric plane, the MBE-1, made its maiden flight way back in 1973. Powered by an 8-kilowatt Bosch KM77 electric motor, the MBE-1 managed short 12-minute flights, reaching a maximum altitude of 1,240 feet. Limited by the weight and capacity of its nickel-cadmium batteries, the MBE-1's performance may not have been groundbreaking, but it was just the beginning that laid the foundation for the development of some of the most impressive electric airplanes we see today. Fast forward 16 years from the MBE-1, and the world saw the launch of the first EASA-type certified, serially produced manned electric glider, the Lange E-1 Antares. This glider could climb to an impressive 6,200 feet with a maximum speed of 151 knots, thanks to Lange's electric motor and much more efficient lithium-ion batteries stored in the wings. But gliders require much less power to stay airborne compared to a typical airplane. So what about the rest of general aviation? For years, there were only a few home-built experimental electric conversions. Then in 2020, Pipistrel certified the Velis Electro, a two-seater based on the virus model, capable of flying at 90 knots for 50 minutes, with a significant payload of 370 pounds. This sparked the electrification, pun intended, of general aviation once again. By early 2024, there were close to 800 hybrid and electric projects under development. But even today, the biggest challenge remains the same as it was decades ago, range. Sure, electric engines produce much less noise, require almost zero maintenance compared to internal combustion engines, and are far more eco-friendly. However, right now, any 1960s Cessna would be a better fit for almost any mission. Almost. There's one area where range isn't as critical, but the aforementioned benefits, quiet operation, low maintenance, and eco-friendliness are key. I'm talking about urban air mobility. Wait, 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 I'm not talking about the sci-fi air taxis taking you from skyscraper to skyscraper, no. It's all much more practical than you might have thought. Let me explain. The Hollywood-inspired EV tolls were probably what you envisioned when I mentioned urban air mobility. It all sounds great. Vertical takeoff from any helipad, excellent visibility from the cockpit, much lower noise compared to helicopters. But there's a catch. Quad or octocopter designs might be the most inefficient way to fly, as there's nothing generating lift besides the pusher props. In the end, you need a hell of a lot of power to keep you in the air, which means you need a huge heavy battery. That leads to bigger engines and props, and then we circle back to the same issue, batteries. Not to mention the extremely challenging certification process for such aircraft. Well, the team behind the subject of today's video envisioned urban air mobility a bit differently. In 2020, a team of researchers from MIT, led by professors John Hansman and Mark Dralla, came up with an idea. Why not build an e stole plane with all the advantages of an EV toll, but without the certification or energy challenges? In the words of the company's founder, they wanted the operational flexibility of a helicopter with the cost of fixed-wing aircraft. The operational flexibility of a helicopter, the operating costs at or below current fixed wing alternatives is really the promise of the uh, Electra Eastol, and that's, been, that's why it's been so well received. So they teamed up with Dr. John Lankford, founder and former CEO of Aurora Flight Sciences, to form Electra. The plan? To build a plane that would make air travel possible without the need for a traditional airport. For the first two years, John, Mark, and Langford worked on refining blown lift technology. Pioneered by NASA in the 60s, blown lift technology uses electric motors to blow air over wing flaps. 
increasing the amount of lift generated by an aircraft's wing. This extra lift allows the plane to take off at extremely short distances and at very low speeds. Electra improved on this by introducing a hybrid electric propulsion system, Using eight electric motors placed along the leading edge of the wing with custom-designed propellers, Electra managed to reduce fuel burn by almost 40%, while achieving flight at just a fraction of the speed needed by conventional planes. In November 2023, just three years after starting, Electra successfully tested the first flights of its demonstrator aircraft, the EL-2. They announced that the aircraft took off in less than 170 feet and landed in under 114 feet, with a takeoff speed of less than 25 knots. Immediately after the successful demonstration, Electra began receiving orders. Less than a year later, they had over 2,000 pre-orders for the upcoming Electra Aero, with delivery set to start in 2026. So, let's take a look at what this bird is capable of. Exact details about the internals of the upcoming Electra Aero aren't publicly available yet. However, what we do know is that the plane will deliver extremely impressive performance, with a stall speed of less than 22 knots and a cruise speed of over 175 knots. The maximum load is 2,500 pounds for the cargo variant, or 9 passengers for the civil version. The plane also features a triplex redundant fly-by-wire system designed to automatically coordinate the actuation of flight control surfaces during landing and takeoff. As for range, the current configuration offers 434 nautical miles with 45 minutes of reserve. However, the company has mentioned plans to double this range, aiming for at least 1,000 nautical miles. It's important to note that this range is not fully electric in the traditional sense, Electra uses a hybrid electric propulsion system, where a generator charges the batteries and powers the engines. During takeoff, the system combines generator and battery power for extra thrust, while in cruise mode, the motors can be powered by either the generator or batteries. Where the Electra really shines is in sustainability. As a hybrid plane, it burns 40% less fuel compared to conventional aircraft and produces almost no noise. In a recent interview, J.P. Stewart, vice president of Electra, mentioned that they designed custom propellers to reduce noise and increase thrust. So this was a, an old design of our, of our propellers, but one of the real interesting potential advantages of the electric aircraft is just how much quieter they are. At 500 feet, it's quieter than a conversation. You can hear leaves rustling, and it's just really incredible for an aircraft like this to, to be that quiet. This setup allegedly provides three times more lift than a wing of that size would typically generate. Interestingly, you don't even need a special license to fly the Electra Aero. Since it doesn't fall under the powered lift category, you can operate it with a traditional pilot's license. It's more easily certifiable because it's a traditional airplane. It doesn't fall into the powered lift category. Blo have to distinguish blown lift and powered lift. It's manned, so it, uh, it has no autonomy that needs to be certified. You can fly it with a traditional uh, license. Additionally, Electra claims that compared to EV toll aircraft, they can deliver 2.5 times more payload and 10 times more range, with 70% lower operating costs. But the real question is how it compares to conventional aircraft. Let's find out. When compared to planes like the Beaver, Pilatus Porter, Cessna 206, or 210, the Electra is a clear winner in terms of cruise speed, takeoff and landing distances, and even stall speed. However, range and payload become factors. Almost all the conventional planes listed above will have better range, and the payload of the Pilatus and Beaver is still more than what the Electra can offer. As we wrap up this video, I just wanted to mention that the estimated price for this bird is around $3.5 million. Right now, that's significantly more expensive than any helicopter or conventional plane with similar specs. In my opinion, this plane should be marketed to businesses, whether as an air taxi, small cargo carrier, or for other future city needs. Either way, this project feels much more realistic than all the cyberpunk EV tolls I've seen before. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content from above the clouds. Fly safe, and until next time.